Hey kids, how are you? Maybe you remember that last week I showed you some pictures from um, some things from the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible. Some symbols that stand for um, some other things, okay? Um, and remember I showed you this one of a person with wings. Remember what that one stood for? We said it stands for the Gospel of Matthew. It's one of the four living creatures talked about in the book of Revelation. And then I showed you a second creature that looks like a lion with wings. And we often use that to represent the Gospel of Mark. And then had a picture of an ox with wings another one of the living creatures in the book of Revelation that we often use to represent the Gospel of Luke. And then the eagle, uh, another one of the living creatures in the book of Revelation that we often use to represent the Gospel of John. Well, I wanted to show you a uh, another picture today because I want to sh tell you about one more image or one more picture uh, that we have this week in the book of Revelation. But first I want to show you this picture. And so what do you see in this picture? Do you see the picture of a boy? Do you the see the picture of a lion? you see the picture of a lamb? Okay. Now, if we were just to look at the lion and the lamb, which do you think would be more powerful? The lion or the lamb? Well, I think most of us would say the lion would be the more powerful. But there's a funny thing that happens in Revelation. I'm going to show you this picture. The image that we have in Revelation this week is the image of a lamb. But what do you notice that's funny about this lamb? It has something coming out of its side. Well, in Revelation it talks about the lamb who was slain talks about how the lamb, uh, by the blood of the lamb, we are all made children of God. Okay? So, just to say that in Revelation, the lamb is a very powerful symbol. And would you guess who this lamb represents? Who this lamb stands for? Who else? Uh, died and uh, by the power of his blood we are saved. Yes, of course it's for Jesus. Okay, so just remember this week that oftentimes in the church we use the symbol of the Lamb to talk about Jesus. And in Revelation it talks about the Lamb next to the throne of God. Okay, that's enough for this week. We'll see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.